Down 19 first reported a state audit in March also pointed out major issues. Governor Raimondo has said she was never told about those federal government concerns. So today I ask why not? Why not tell your boss, the governor? I, I think that uh, for us, this was an operational decision that had to be made. They certainly didn't tell us to stop. They certainly didn't. This is their program. This is a federal program. They certainly didn't tell us that we couldn't go forward. Um, well, so they said we proceed didn't. at your own risk. But that was a decision that we were going to have to make because we were going to have to have the consequences of doing what they wanted us to do. And also today, Governor Rondo visited the state's busiest DHS office here in Providence to meet with clients and staff on the front lines as, as well. Still ahead at 6, I'll show you how much Rhode Island taxpayers have paid to the company behind that new computer system just since that botched rollout. Live in the studio, I'm I-Team reporter Katie Davis, NBC10 News. Katie, thank you. If you have a tip for the NBC 10 I team, we want to hear from you. Call 401-455-9123 or send an email to iteam at wjar.com. We've learned that the small jet that ran off the runway at North Central Airport in Smithfield will likely be there for a few days. Crews will need to bring in a crane to remove this plane right here. Soil contaminated by the fuel will also need to be removed and replaced. We do know the Cessna came in from Pennsylvania with six people on board on a business trip. There were no injuries. Federal investigators are looking into whether speed or weather conditions played a role. In